back to my channel where I talk about all the planty things that make me happy. Um, I thought today I would do uh, kind of a vlog style a little bit and just kind of give you a little bit of a tour of what I have for some of my plants and um, start from there. Um, I want to do some topics I think on certain species of plants and the things that I have a harder time with, things that are I don't know, the things that don't work well for me, things that work well for me, that sort of thing, especially in winter. Today it is about minus 33 degrees Celsius here. Um, I'm not quite sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's cold either way. <laughs> so anyway, let's get started. All right, so let's start with uh, my pothos. This is Butch. My mom named her. Uh, when I got her, she actually was just kind of a mound of leaves um, sitting on the top of that pot. Um, I've had her now about a year, not quite a year, and she is going gangbusters as you can see. I have to figure out a different way um, to trellis her. I'm, I have a really large growing pole that I think I'm going to maybe do a video on when I transplant her. She needs a transplant and she needs a bigger pole to climb as you can see. Um, there's some marble in there with some beautiful variegation. I just love her. She's so pretty. You know, I think the one biggest thing that people think is that you have to have a rare plant in order for it to be awesome. That's not, so not true. I love her. She is one of my favorite plants and I have these really cool little hooks and I can let you know where I got those from. They're an Amazon purchase um, and they're so cool. They just untwist like, like this and you can just take the plant right out and twist it back up. So I have her in two of those and she's now growing on my wall. And the best thing is, is they don't take the paint off, they just come off. It's great. So anyway, she's one of my favorite ones. She's so healthy. She has so many little aerial roots, but she needs to be able to climb on something better. So I have to, I have to do something with her. So I think maybe that's going to be um, a future video. So yeah, I have my string of hearts, which is doing awesome in this window. I hung her up here, oh, I don't know, three, four months ago. And she is like, she's loving it there. I wish she was a little bit more bushy. So I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to try and propagate some of her and replant her in the same pot just so that I can get her a little bit more bushy but you can see how long she is like she's super super long super long and um of course my tetrasperma who is kind of throwing a little bit of a fit right now um I repotted her not too long ago and now her these leaves are a little bit wilty and I'm not exactly sure why <laughs> she didn't like it apparently so and I am not one to um, prescribe to that belief that you can't repot in the winter time I really think you can I've usually don't have any issues doing it but I think this was more just she didn't like to be repotted so and that's that but um I have the start here's some of my syngonium collection I love syngonium and I think I mentioned to you in the last video that it is my favorite species and so yeah so it's it's so so beautiful um this one is pink margarita and this is a pink um i have a whole bunch of them there's a whole bunch around here so um i have this is my newest one this one i think is a plum illusion but i am not a hundred percent sure i've been struggling with the idea of this one but i think that's what it is but if you know differently please comment down below and let me know Oh, and we have Helen. Hello, Helen. She's making herself known in the video as well. I have my pink polka dot plant, which was doing awful. Oh, I just about lost it. And I put her here and she seems to be coming back. There's some beautiful new pink growing in there. You can see that. Looks like she may have gotten a little too chilly right there maybe because of the window right here. And as you can see, it is a cold and very, very windy day today. Um, yeah, really chilly. So here's some more of my collection. I have my um, 
my uh, fishbone cactus, which to be honest, I am so in love with this little plant. Like so in love with it. And I was not aware that it could be used as a like put as a hanging plant like that. I thought cactuses all stood up straight or at least semi straight, but this one is so wonky. It's just, it's awesome. I just love it. And it's getting all of these little, little uh, new growth on here. And you can see it's got these, is it focus? It's got these little spikes and they are like, they wouldn't hurt you. They would bend, but they are, they are uh, firm. But so, so cute. And we can see all the little hairs on this one. The little fuzzies, love it. And my Hoya uh, Puba Calyx. And my, this one is my princess, my cr Crimson Princess, Crimson Queen. Um, my Hoya Compacta. I have two of these. Now one plant that I struggle with a lot are Peperomia. This one I love, it's an Emerald Ripple. And I have managed to keep it alive and thriving, shockingly enough. Like, it's a shocking, and it's actually even flowering. And I just love the color on it. Look at the color on that. Isn't that absolutely stunning? I just love it. So, and my pride and joy, this is my um, Syngonium potophyllum albo variegatum. Quite the fancy name for a very fancy plant. Oh my gosh, since I have gotten her, she's gotten so big. And um, every time she gives me a new leaf, it seems to be like probably eight out of 10 of them are half moons. Like, look at that. Like this is brand new and that's almost a complete half moon. That one's brand new. That looks like camo to me. Um, another one there. They're just, it's just stunning the leaves on this one, except <laughs> this little girl right there has been trying to unfurl for probably a month. I'm not kidding. And this is as far as she's gotten. And I think the reason for that is because it's an all white leaf. I don't think there's going to be any green on here at all, which means without the green, she there's no chlorophyll, which means she can't um, create food to survive. So she'll probably wither and die really, really fast but I'm hoping that she unfurls the whole way before, um, before she actually does that so that I can at least enjoy her for a tiny little bit of time. So, uh, and there is a, another Puba Calyx. Yep, and my Calathea, right? My rattlesnake Calathea, I love this plant. Calatheas don't typically do awesome for me, but I have a few that really I seem to do okay with and this is one of them. Um, she is so pretty and of course during the day she spreads out and she's just very elegant looks so gorgeous and in the evening she all she lifts all of her leaves up and uh, yeah she's so pretty here is another of my syngonium which I am going to be repotting I think I'm gonna do a repot video on some of these littler ones that need it you can see she's struggling in this pot it's a cute pot but and it has drainage but She's not doing well in here. Um, and when when she unfurls these new leaves, like they're just so pretty. But it looks to me like part of it has, I don't know, it's just struggling, really struggling. And I don't know if that's winter or if it's the pot, but I think we're gonna put her in terracotta. Um, my syngonium tend to do better in, in uh, terracotta. So I think that's what we're going to do. So, yeah. Oh, and this, this is so, so pretty, so pretty. And it's gotten big too. This is a Pilea a Chinese money plant and it has done so well since I've gotten it. Um, I struggled actually with it at the very beginning where it wanted to go. Um, I had it in a few spots. It didn't like the light. And uh, here though, it seems to be doing awesome. So I'm not sure what's going on with that leaf. It's a little little yellow at the edges but oh well so here we have a philodendron brazil now 
I honestly, I don't know. It looks to be a Brazil with some of this, but then look at some of these leaves. Like some of these have so much cream in them that I don't know for sure if this one is a Brazil. So I'm gonna have to look into it a little bit more and see. I do have a true Brazil and that one is up here and it is doing fantastic in this window. And it had a repot just very recently, which it needed so bad because I hadn't taken it out of the nursery pot since I had it. And I'd had it for like, I don't know, eight, nine months. So, and it's doing well, it's starting to really crawl up there. Yeah, it's doing good. So like, look at that, so cute. I just love them. The variegation on them is so, so pretty and so unique. Each one is different, which I love. Well, there you have it. So now you've seen some of my collection, definitely not all of it, um, but I didn't want to bore you with any more. I've been talking for quite a long time. So I just wanted to introduce you to some of my plants and kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of where my tastes kind of run and the things that I kind of enjoy. And uh, yeah, and I'm very excited because I actually have um, uh, new cuttings, new Hoya cuttings that I'm picking up today. And I am going to do a little video on that and I will be posting that one as well. But uh, for now, that's it. I'm glad that you joined me today. Um, if there's anything that you would like me to do as a topic, let me know in the comments below. Um, uh, I, I, uh, I really want to kind of see where you guys are leaning with what you want for this channel. Um, for me, it's just about the love of the plants. I love them all. And, uh, just when I think I found one that's my favorite, I find another one that's my favorite. So, but anyway, thank you guys for joining me today and, uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and uh, we'll see you next time.